Hey, welcome. This is Nancy Slater. I'm your instructor for Intro to Photoshop, uh, GRD 100 PS. And I'm going to give you just a real brief um, oh, tour of Blackboard and some of the things that you'll need to know in order to get started um, in our class on Monday. So, first of all, you uh, if you've not taken a Blackboard class before, I do know that you've probably at least gone to our main website, which is the Muskegon Community College website. What you want to do after um, reaching this portion of our website, you want to go over here all the way over to where it says My MCC, and you want to click on that. And then normally what happens, and because I've already been signed in, it won't um, show that, normally what you'll have to do somewhere in this process is add in your email address for Muskegon's um, your email address for Muskegon Community College and then you'll also have to um, put in your password um, but again I was not asked to do that because I've done that previously then once you get into my MCC you want to go to my blackboard courses and depending on how many blackboard courses you're taking this semester you want to click on mine specifically GRD 100 PS and that's Slater and that's going to immediately bring you to the um, announcements page and it will every single time you sign into Blackboard. Um, normally on this page I'll have whatever happens to be relevant or important for that particular week. Um, this time I tell you just two or three things, actually six things that you need to be aware of or concern yourself with or get done in order to uh, get started for the class. Um, you want to get access to high-speed internet um, either at home or if you don't have it at home you can do your work from the school um, any computer lab on campus uh, that has the software needed to do the assignments and that could be in the graphics lab I know there's uh, some computers in the library um, so again just check a, a different labs on uh, campus if you don't have access to high-speed internet at home um, the second thing you're going to have to do is get the software uh, we don't provide the software for you um, but you can rent it from adobe.com. I think for a student it's like about $20 a month. And you not only get Photoshop, but you get a whole series of Adobe software. That's a great deal, by the way. That's through Adobe Cloud. Um, you could purchase it also, or again, simply come into one of the school labs to use it. Um, you need to get the textbook, which is Exploring uh, Adobe Photoshop CC by Toland and Hartman. One thing that you're going to notice with this is um, the textbook that you probably are going to receive is going to say Adobe Photoshop CS6 rather than CC. I don't think that they've actually published the CC1 yet. What they're using is the CS6 photo, uh, the CS6 uh, textbook and then they're adding an addendum to cover the CC um, uh, differences. And that you'll find under course information. So um, again, most of it works just fine without even accessing that. But in case you do have a question, you don't understand what the textbook is saying, take a look at that addendum could that, because that could be in, indicative of something that's changed between the version CS6 and CC. Um, you need to go to Muskegon Community College website. We've already done that. Go to Blackboard link. We've done that um, and clicked on the tab. Um, that you've done that as well. Now um, on this blue little um, uh, column here, this is where all your important information is going to be accessed. Um, course information will go there in a minute. Uh, weekly content um, that's going to tell you what we're going to do each week. And then of course my grades, you'll want to see what you're getting um, in the grades this semester on a regular basis probably. So um, you want to go there um, and under course information you're going to um, <clears throat> click on that link and it's going to bring you to a little um, two or three well actually three things that you need to take a look at first thing is due dates and um, that is going to show you for all of the chapters um, all of the assignments and then all of the due dates and you'll see consistently at my due dates are at the end of every week on Sunday night at midnight. So for anything that's assigned this upcoming week, <clears throat> it would be due uh, this coming Sunday night at midnight, not tomorrow, obviously. I'm recording this on Saturday, but 
So again, that you would need to take a look at that and let me know if you have any questions. Uh, you would also need to take a look at the syllabus, which I lost my browser. Um, I want you to download that and read it and see if you have any questions. Uh, you can bring those up during the meeting that we have. And then these are the CC enhancements, again, that I mentioned earlier, that because we've got the CS6 textbook, um, they've made some updates in this little handout here. This, um, they're not all organized this way, but on this particular enhancement sheet, they're all put on one sheet for every chapter. All right, and then also lab policies. I haven't included that yet. I wasn't real sure how many of you were going to be working in the lab, but there will be some lab policies uh, starting next week that you'll need to be aware of if you're going to work in the graphics lab. All right, so let's go back to weekly content. Um, this is, again, I'll add a new one each week and it's going to be probably look almost identical. You need to read the chapter, you need to review the chapter lecture, you need to review the demos, and then you're going to complete the in-chapter exercises and questions as indicated under course information due dates. All right, so if you click on week one, I've already got a couple of things in there. Oh, I didn't want to show that already which is the lecture, chapter one lecture, goes over some overheads for chapter one. These are the data files and this is you're going to need these files in order to complete the exercises and lessons that there are in uh, Photoshop chapter one and throughout the remainder of the book. So what I would do is immediately work to download that. You'll see that it's downloaded at, it's downloading as a zip archive which means don't forget to extract it or to open it up, otherwise it will not be available to open the Photoshop uh, files. Now, um, I think I might have already downloaded that, so I'm going to look under, but I did want to show you how to do that. Um, I think this is it. Right, and in a Mac, when you open it, it automatically um, extracts the information. Now that may not be the case if you're on a PC, but let me see if I've got these here. All right, so this is um, lessons for chapter one. And if you click on return, whoops, I'm sorry. If you do command zero or open, um, that will, and on a Mac, that automatically extracts the lessons. And then this is where we would go to access the lessons for this chapter one um, and so on. All right, so um, let's go back to week one. Um, and secondly, or thirdly, or I don't know where I am in this whole process, <laughs> but we normally we don't do a lot with the discussion board um, and just a one credit, one contact hour class or two contact hour class. I may on occasion assign you something, but if um, I will definitely alert you up front of the week and um, probably send you an announcement about it as well as if there's something in the discussion board you have to do. Typically what would you would see here is an assignment tab that uh, under week one, geez, it's slow today. I'm going to go to sleep. Okay. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Actually, I'm going to create an assignment. And these are the chapter one exercises and review questions. At the end of every single chapter, there are review questions that you need to answer. We're going to upload these files. Um, and this one, you can probably um, upload them in the native file format or as PDFs. Um, I'm in Photoshop, it doesn't really make much of a difference. And then I there I'm going to show you when the due date is. If we go to the calendar, tomorrow's the 17th. It will be due the 24th. It's going to be worth 25 points. I'm going to let you do multiple submissions or multiple. Now I'm going to have you do unlimited attempts. And then we're going to click submit. And then what you'll see is this is what an assignment tab looks like. And you, this is where you would click to upload your assignment for chapter one. 
So I think um, beyond that, uh, just my grade, you want to check them occasionally. That's really what um, Blackboard is all about and those areas that you need to take a look at in Blackboard. One more thing is under Tools, um, if you click on Tools, you'll find this little Blackboard IM link. I would like to have you download Blackboard IM and then assuming I ever get my Blackboard fixed so that it shows up my current classes, um, I can, um, you can access me um, almost immediately. If you see my little green, green light on, that means I'm online and um, I'm available for questions. So again, that's, um, although I give you my telephone number to text me if you have questions, um, you can also email me. This is another method by which you can um, instant message me if you choose to do that. Okay, that's it guys. The next time I see you, I'll be doing a demo for the, um, for the exercise in chapter one. See you in a few.